Neighbors in Seminole Heights are enjoying their first full night in peace, knowing the accused killer is in jail. Peter Bernard is live along North Nebraska Avenue for us tonight, where the mood is decidedly different tonight. It sure is, Jen. For the first time in about a month and a half, you can take your nightly stroll, sit on your porch, just generally be outside without worrying about being shot. When I was watching it last night, I was like, yes. <laughs> Elated, ecstatic, relieved. Many words describe the feeling in Seminole Heights. The holiday spirit can be unleashed. It's going to get back to normal. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to be back how it was. Um, two months ago before, you know, all this started happening. At well-known flower shop Moats Florist, owner LaWanda Barrera is glad the killer will be held accountable. We are simply overjoyed. I think that's the word. Um, relief, uh, utter and utter um, gratitude to the all the men and women that are responsible to help bring this uh, this monster to justice. Her happiness is tempered by the fact four families are now grieving their losses. It certainly is healing and hope that I'm feeling. Um, so tearful, so emotional, connected to these families forever. Mm -hmm. Truly, I think it's their it's their story that still needs to be told. LaWanda took down the poster on her front door, offering a reward for information on the killer. Her collection of holiday lights will continue for Light the Heights. No longer held hostage in their homes at night, the Heights is coming alive. The sense of relief is huge. I think there's going to be a lot of celebrating in Seminole Heights this weekend. All right, hashtag Seminole Heights Strong. That's still around the neighborhood, and that's at that floral shop right here. For the first time in weeks, I noticed the heavy police presence is no longer here. And also, we used to see a chop... Heavy, uh, we'd also see choppers overhead uh, on occasion, police choppers. That's no longer happen, happening, and that's all a sign that life in the Heights is getting back to normal. Jen? Sounds like it, too. Peter Bernard, live in Seminole Heights for us. Thank you so much. Yeah. Another